Welcome back to another beautiful day in the land of music. My name is Douglas and in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you how I built this kind of modern sounding piano and pad layered sound in the Nord Stage 3. So over the last weekend with Good Friday and Easter, I really wanted to come up with a program in the Nord Stage 3 using the sounds in the Nord Stage 3 that sounded a little bit more like the modern Hillsong-y pads that are out there. You, you have main stage, which is used a lot, and there's sound packs for main stage that sound really good. There's virtual instruments that sound really good. They have a lot of movement and breathiness to the pad, and I've always kind of wanted that in the Nord Stage 3. So I sat down, spent a little time, and I actually was able to come up with a breathy moving sound that fit exactly what I was hearing in my head. And I've fallen in love with this and I wanted to share it with you. This is going to be a sound in my new worship program pack number two that I'm working on now. If you haven't got my worship program pack one, link is in the description for that video. Go check that out. If it's something you're interested in, uh, you can go pick that up. But even though this is going to be one of the programs in my second worship program pack, I wanted to share with you uh, right now how I went about building this. So so that if you're looking to add a layered piano pad sound that's a little bit more modern, has some dynamics to it, hopefully this will fit the bill for you. I know a lot of you guys use the Nord Stage 3 in church or in worship music, and my hope is that this is something you can add to your collection. So let's jump right in over on the Nord here. What I've done is I've used both panels A and B. So the Nord Stage 3, if you're new to it, has two complete panels, basically, um, which allow you to layer sounds and use the effects in those panels a little differently. Now, before we talk about the synth sound, let's unlayer the panels. Let's go over to panel A, and that's where I've got my white grand with a soft timbre. I have the EQ set and reverb on this. So let me run through. There's a nice little monitor button here that you can hold and you can tweak controls without affecting the control itself and it gives you the actual level of that control, which is really nice. I use it all the time because sometimes I'm going and I'm playing live and I'm hearing a little bit of muddiness. I can, oh, where did I put the bass at or the treble at on the EQ control? So I use that monitor feature a lot. So the white grand, this is one of my staple pianos that I use all the time. Uh, if you don't have that, go grab that off Nord's website. It's free. Bring it onto the Nord. And I use the soft timbre a lot underneath prayer, at the ends of songs, things like that. And this fit just so well with this new synth sound. So before I play you a little sample of this, if we go over to the EQ section, I've brought the bass down, negative 5.8 dB, mid up, up 3.8 at... 314 hertz, and then the treble up 4.8 dB. I've got the reverb on, that is set at five in the stage one preset. And what this sounds like is this. And I really love just the warmth of this sound. I do have soft release and string res on as well, but I also found myself uh, using this same program with the piano and the pad, but switching between the soft and the normal timbre. So I may start out a song. So I get into the chorus, I bring that full or the normal timbre in. So a lot of dynamics there, but we're going to focus on just the soft. And let's jump over and check out the synth sound. So on panel B, we have the synth section turned on and I have the Southern Shore sound pulled up here. If we just go to this sound normally, turn all the effects off. I have the volume of the synth section tied to the modulation wheel. You could also tie this to an expression pedal and that would do the same thing. Ideally what you would want is the piano volume tied to one of these and the synth volume. You notice I was jumping up and turning the piano section on and off. You wouldn't have to do that if you had them tied to uh, either the expression pedal or the mod wheel. So 
ideally that would work. But for me, I stand as I'm playing worship at church. I have my two tier stand with the Korg SV1 on the bottom, Nord Stage 3 on the top. And so standing, it's hard. I find it hard to use a sustain pedal and an expression pedal at the same time. If you're sitting, that would be a lot easier. So again, the volume of the synth section I have tied or assigned to the wheel using the morph assign function. And this is what that synth sounds like with no tweaks to it. As you can see, it's a little punchy and it has a lot of breath to it. Which is nice, but it's too much. So what I did is I, I found that sound and I said, ooh, I can work with that. So I tweaked a bunch of things on here and I drowned it in effects. So let's check this out. I'm gonna leave the volume on full. And then if we go back to the one that I adjusted, this is what it sounds like compared to uh, out of the box. So it still has some of that breathy nature to it, that but it's slower, warmer. So let's check out what I did here. So over on the effects, I have a very slow auto pan. And what I did on this is it's really low. It's like a 0 0.1, 0 0.2 amount and then the rate is 0.3 and it's set on the auto pan and what that does is it slowly moves that between the left and the right side it's only really going to come through if you're going stereo out of the nord stage 3 but it still adds a really nice effect uh, that you don't even realize but the synth slowly moves between the left and the right i also have a delay on here so up at the top i've got ping pong turned on which you can do by holding shift tapping on the tap tempo button my rate here is 418 milliseconds, 144 beats per minute. The feedback is set at 3.5 and then the mix is set at three. Make sure your source is set to the synth on all of these. And the reason I put the synth on one panel and the piano on another, because you may be looking at this and saying, well, why didn't you use the same panel? Because you can turn the piano section and the synth section on, layer them on the same panel. But the reason I did this is I wanted a lot more reverb on the synth sound than I wanted on the piano sound. And by using the two separate panels, you're able to um, kind of have your own reverb setting for one panel and have a different setting for the other. Whereas on the panel itself, the reverb and compression are global across that panel. So that's why I separated these two. The morph assign function still works across panels. So it works really well for that. Um, let's check out the EQ here. So on the EQ, um, the bass I still have at zero. The mid, I brought it up 4.2 on 999 hertz. And then the treble is at positive 3 dB. So what this does is it just kind of brightens the pad. And there's a lot of competition for low and mid range in a worship team setting. Uh, and so by just kind of pulling that out, it saves the sound guy from having to adjust the EQ and worrying about, you know, it's too much in the subs or it's too much low end uh, going on for the, the mix at church. So then we look over here on the reverb. I, well, you see, I actually have compression on, but it's at zero. I was messing around with trying to stabilize and even out the synth sound, but I liked the way it sounded without the compression because it gives me a little bit more dynamic to fade in and out, have some softer parts. The compression would bring those soft part volume up and the loud parts down to try to even it out. So that, even though it's on, is at zero. And then the effects, I have 6.4. Uh, of the stage one preset. And so this is, that's quite a lot of reverb, but you don't really notice with this synth sound. So those are the effects. I've kind of drowned it in some effects there. And then over here, I've used the Southern Shores. I've left the Oscillator 1 and the Oscillator uh, config the same, but Oscillator 2, I brought that pitch all the way down to sub. And then the frequency, that's the big one. I took from all the way up 900 and something down to uh, 185. And the difference here sounds like this. So it's a lot more of like a bell sound up in that range. When we bring it down, we get a much 
warmer, softer sound there. So let's take a look at a couple of the other settings. So the res I have at 2.2, the release I have at 545, the sustain or the amp decay at sustain. I want this sound to hold for as long as I hold those keys. The attack I brought way down. So it's this really slow attack on this of 1.19. And then if we come over here, the LFO amount is at zero. The mod envelope 1.3. The mod envelope releases at 340 milliseconds. Mod decay 3.22. Mod attack 1.28. And then the LFO rate 0 0.03. So that's what I did here. And then I took this and I brought the octave up one. And the reason I do this is if we bring this down, sounds good but it has a lot of low end to it, especially when I get down here. So depending on whether the synth sound or the Nord Stage 3 at your church is going through the subs, and depending on the other instruments you have, it might be too much low end. For us it is. So I bring that up an octave. And I figure the piano is kind of covering some of that low end. So there you go. That's kind of a rundown of that sound. Again, if you don't want to make this yourself, make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss the Worship Program Pack 2 that's going to have this sound on it. I'm in love with this. The dynamics you can get with just kind of playing with the mod wheel, bringing that synth sound in and out, messing with that. Um, it really is a really dynamic and I feel modern sounding synth sound. do a lot with. So again, <laughs> this is my go-to now. I use this in both our Good Friday and Easter services. Um, it even sounds good with a normal timbre. So I, this is going to be my go-to at church from now on until I find something better, but I felt like it was kind of a really nice Hillsongy modern synth sound. Not that you always have to sound like Hillsong, but um, some of those modern synth sounds are, are really nice. And I, this one fit in the mix really well as uh, is kind of a good synth piano layered sound. So if you've got any questions, throw them down in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer them. Hopefully this was helpful for you. Um, and maybe this is a program that you want to add to your collection, your arsenal for church or for worship music or really anything. Even if you don't do church music or you don't do church, you still might find this sound useful. So I hope it was for you guys. Again, make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss any future videos. Thanks for watching. Stay inspired and keep making that music.